The seven star Charizard event is dropping in literally two days of recording this video. We are going to go over the best Pokemon you can use, all the preparation you're going to need, and a mysterious item that not only breaks this Terra Raid, but every single Terra Raid after this in today's video. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, the seven star Charizard Raid event is kicking off on the 1st of December. It is starting at 7 p.m. Eastern in time which works out to be about midnight Greenwich Mean Time over here in England and it's going to be the first seven star raid that any of us in these new games have experienced. By now most of us will have played five star and six star terror raids and have a good idea of how strong the Pokemon within these terror raids are going to be but this one is a little different. It is going to be a lot stronger. The Pokemon company are saying that you're not going to be able to take this on by yourself and you're going to need friends to be able to defeat this Charizard. Now we all thought the same when six star terror raids were kind of first introduced but by now we've got a bunch of really solid strategies against these and you can even run through these solo if you've got the right setup by the way if you want to check out the video on that i'll link it up in the top right hand corner now for you but getting on to today's video we've got a bit of information about charizard and what it will be in this seven star terror raid we know that it will have the dragon terror type so that instantly gives us a big advantage we can use the type matchup and use something like a fairy type to hit the dragon terror type type super effective. The other thing that we're going to need to think about is obviously it is going to have those big fire type attacks because its base typing is partially fire. So you're going to need something like a water type. Now what fits this mold perfectly? It is Azumarill. A lot of people have been chatting about Azumarill and I've seen a bunch of content about Azumarill and it having the assault vest item to give it a bit more staying power against something like Charizard. And this set is a great way to approach this matchup because Charizard obviously going to be more specially based so it's going to hit on that special defense side of Azumarill. With the Assault Vest you're going to be able to chunk things, you're going to be able to disrupt and with huge power as its ability doubling its attack you're going to still be able to hit it for some big damage. But when I first looked at this raid and kind of started thinking about it I said Azumarill but I wanted to play the Belly Drum set. Now we've recently seen how good something like Iron Hands has been in the format it being a 5 and 6 star terror raid destroyer. The issue is, and the difference between Iron Hands and Azumarill is, Iron Hands has access to Drain Punch, which gives it a form of recovery, whereas that is something that Azumarill just doesn't have and it lacks. It's going to have maybe a Citrus Berry, but once you've got that initial recovery, you've got nothing after that. And that is where the problem lies for me with the Belly Drum set. So looking at all the options that Azumarill had access to, there was literally nothing. But this got me thinking about other options outside the box. And I remembered the item Shell Bell. Now the item Shell Bell, for those of you who don't know, it recovers one eighth of the damage done to an opposing target target at the end of that turn and we know that terror raid pokemon have a hp multiplier on them we know that five star terror raids have a 20 times multiplier on them which makes hp absolutely ridiculous you know something like annihilate on level 75 is going to have like over 5000 hp if i'm getting my numbers right so the natural thing to think of if you're doing big damage after you've boosted your attack you're going to do even more hp damage so it means that that eighth of recovery that you're going to receive is going to be huge and it, which results in most of the time after my testing that i did you getting most of if not all of your hp back after one attack after that initial belly drum which just solves the whole issue with the belly drum azumarill set in the first place and i don't think this will just work for this specific terror raid i think this is going to work for every single terror raid be it a five six or seven star in the future the shell bell item is something that can be really utilized against these terror raid bosses who have these huge hp multipliers an eighth of health recovery of the damage that you've done, especially if it's coming off a boosted damaging attack, is going to be just enough to keep that Pokemon healthy and in a good attacking position where you're safe in terrestrializing, knowing that you're not going to get knocked out because you've got that constant recovery helping you stay topped up, where you're going to be able to keep that terrestrialization for the entirety of the battle after you do terrestrialize. Whereas if you get knocked out, you lose it and you're not able to do the damage that you quite need before the timer finishes. So if this sounds 
sounds like an enticing idea to you, I'm going to go through next the step-by-step -step process of how you can get an Azumarill, train it up and get this item Shell Bell so you can get a battle ready for when this Charizard event drops on the 1st of December. Azumarill can be caught as a wild terror Pokemon with the fairy terror type in Casaroya Lake between the large island you can see here and the smaller one in the north area of the lake. This wild terror Azumarill will be at level 55 and when you catch it it will have at least three perfect IVs. The other added bonus here is it will have the fairy terror type which is something you're going to want to have on this particular Azumarill for the matchup against Charizard. Now once you've caught this Azumarill take a quick trip to Mesagoza West and visit the Delibird Presents store where you can buy ever number of bottle caps you need to max out its IVs. Obviously you can discount the special attack IV because this is going to be irrelevant no matter what you do. So as long as you've got five perfect IVs for HP, attack, defense, special defense and speed, then you're going to be fine. So just pick up whatever bottle caps you need to max out the remaining IVs that aren't maxed out already after you've caught it. After this, you're going to head up to Montenevera and visit the Chansey Supply Store in this town. Here you're going to buy an Adamant Mint if your nature isn't Adamant already. If it is, that's a bonus for you and you've just saved a bit of money. And you're also going to buy a bunch of vitamins for Azumarill's EVs. You will want 26 HP vitamins and 26 protein vitamins and one zinc for the remaining four EVs that you'll have left over after these two. Now this will be an expensive step, of course you're going to need a bit of money to be able to do this and you can always just go out into the wild and EV train through power bands and other methods of EV training that's a bit more affordable but this is the quickest method and this is what I'm putting in the video for you today. After you've bought your vitamins and your nature mint you will stay in Montenevera and then you will head back to the Pokemon Center and go behind it and head towards this NPC character that is standing next to the Abomasnaw. He is the hyper training NPC character. If you speak to him and your Pokemon is above level 50, then he will hyper train your Pokemon using bottle caps. Now these will be the bottle caps that you've just purchased. And just make sure that you use them on the right stats to get the flawless IVs that you want in those stats. After he's finished, you can then use your vitamins, the HP vitamins and the protein vitamins and that one zinc and then use your nature mint as well to optimize its nature with an attack boost. Next up, if you are going for this belly drum set, you will need the mirror herb item. You will need to head to Cascarafa City and here you can pick up this item from the Delibird Presents store. For this step, you will need a Pokemon that knows the move belly drum. Iron Hands in Pokemon Violet is a very good option or Hariyama is an alternative if you don't have access to Iron Hands. Now what you want to do is give the Mirror Herb to your Azumarill and make it forget a move in your summary screen. So Azumarill only has three moves. Next put your Belly Drum user in your party with Azumarill and set up a picnic. Once you've done this you can exit the picnic pretty much straight away after setting it up and if you check your Azumarill and its summary screen and its moves it will now have Belly Drum that will be transferred over using the Mirror Herb from the Pokemon that had Belly Drum in your party. And also if the Azumarill you catch has thick fat like the one I caught in Lake Casaroya, then you are going to need to use an ability capsule to change this to huge power because huge power is the ability that you're going to need against this raid and to just maximize Azumarill's potential out completely. Now the ability capsule is a rare item drop from five and six star terror raids but if you do enough of them it is an item that you're going to get quite quickly. So once you've used this and you have that huge power ability I would also recommend using PP ups on play rough. This move can miss and the seven star raids will last a lot longer than other raids that we've done in the past. So having more PP to compensate for both of these aspects is the best thing to help your preparation. The final thing is to level up your Azumarill and once it's at level 100 you will have a fully trained ready to battle Pokemon. And the stats will look like this you can see on this screen and you can see its EVs are maxed out in its HP and attack. So this is what it will look like, have the huge power ability and an adamant nature which might not be apparent on its summary screen but you'll be able to see on the stats screen where the plus stat is by the red icon and the minus stat is in the blue icon and that'll tell you what nature this one is this one has a adamant nature and the final thing that we need to do is pick up the item shell 
bell. The item shell bell can be received by visiting this Pokemon Center here in the South Province Area 3. You want to speak to the Pokemon League official at this Pokemon Center and after you've beat a set number of trainers in the South Province Area 3 area, he will award you the shell bell item. After you've got this, attach it to your Azumarill and it's ready to go against this Charizard when the event drops on the 1st of December. So I know a lot of this is speculation going into this event because we don't know what to expect from it until it actually drops, but we've got a good idea of what to expect. Knowing that six star Terror Raids are that level 75, you've got to assume that this seven star Terror Raid is gonna be level 100. It is gonna have an even higher multiplier on its HP number than the six star Raids are gonna to have to make it that much more difficult. But we know the typing, we know the Pokemon that it's gonna be. We don't know the moveset just yet, but we got an idea of what it will use based on the strongest six star Terra Raid Pokemon that we've seen and experienced already in these games. I honestly think this Azumarill will do good work. The Shell Bell is a perfect option against Pokemon that you're gonna be doing big damage to with huge HP. It means you've got that recovery. It means they're not gonna be able to knock you out and you can continuously use this throughout the battle until you hopefully beat it. And also with the Belly Drum as well, you're gonna have the damage output to keep up with the timer. That was the one issue I think I had with the Assault Vest set was that I just wasn't convinced that you were going to have the damage output even with huge power to to beat the timer in these seven star raids but with the belly drum the plus six attack and the terrestrialization boost on top of that i do feel like you'll be able to keep up do enough damage to the seven star raid and potentially even beat it solo with this specific azumarill so i hope you found this video useful we'll be covering the charizard event when it does drop we'll go on all over all the details all the item drops everything you need to know about it but to help you prepare for this event that is dropping in literally two days i hope you found this video useful and this new item tech i think is going to be big in all future terror raids so i hope you find it useful if you have drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel do subscribe and until next time friends take care of yourselves and bye bye